Okay, so um, I actually got this slightly wrong. There was another match that there was another person who could have finished below Chivite. It was that there, Phil, who played King Boo. And that was going to be a really good game. A really good game, right? King Boo's on 15, that there, Phil's on 12. So, you know, that could have dropped Phil into the mire below Chivite. Or Phil could win and get out of it and get in the playoffs. And that would have been a great match to cast. But unfortunately, their match um, like ended with a concede and stuff. So they had to replay it. And I just it, they they had to re they re they chose to recreate the board state and stuff. And it was just such a faff on. I thought easier to not cover it. <laughs> then the other match was myself versus Squiggy who Squiggy has uh, not been in contact for three weeks, so I obviously got the admin win there. So Elyod is uh, is now in this match. This does matter to Elyod a little bit. Um, if Elyod gets the draw, he will win the league. And obviously if he gets the win, he win the league. If he loses, um, I have a better Kaz difference than him. So I will win the league if Elyod loses this game. And we can see we've got the amazing tree Dakar here, the Elyod, the Elyod offense. Um, so there is a slight thing. For, no, we've, we, I, well, I mean, may, maybe he's contacted the uh, the admins or whatever, but uh, the ordinary man on the street in Aero BB has no, has just not heard from from Squiggy. So yeah, you know, hopefully he is. Um, but yeah, we we don't know. Us common folk don't know. Hello, Pedro. Uh, Phil had to win. Uh, well, he didn't have to. Or did he play before you? But obviously, once you've played and you've lost, <laughs> once you've lost, he still had to win. Yeah, yeah, he still had to win. Yeah, okay. But the point is he could have lost. Yeah, he could have drawn or lost and then you would have qualified still. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, the point is, the point is, he did he did win. <laughs> but it was, the, I'm sure, like, the replay is all fucked up. So it was just, it was just best not to cover it. Unfortunately, because it would have been a big, it would have been a cool match, right? It would have been a cool match that Phil had to win because he'd lost to Chavita. So it would have been a good match to have done the replay of seeing what happens, but unfortunately it was just fucked up by, uh, you know, it being a concession instantly. Blood Bowl 2 problems. But, you know, look, here's the thing. At least in Blood Bowl 2 you can reset those matches and things like this, and you just can't in Blood Bowl 3. Once the result happens in Blood Bowl 3, you can't change it. It's baked into the code. It's absolutely terrible. So there you go. Blood Bowl 3 is almost irredeemable for private leagues. I don't know what they're going to do to try and fix it to make Blood Bowl 3 possible to be played <laughs> effectively by leagues. It is really extremely problematic, <laughs> Blood Bowl 3. But there you go. Um, the point is, PK83 can breathe a sigh of relief, right? Because if Chavita had won... PK83 would have had to have beaten Elliot. But at this point, PK83 knows he, his result just doesn't matter. He's in. So, you know, he's not gonna he's not gonna go crazy trying to beat Elliot here. And Elliot also knows he only needs a draw, really, right? If he if he cares at all about winning the league. Um Yeah, yeah, it would have been a really good game to watch. I'm really sad that I didn't get to see it because uh you know. Probably what happened is, seeing as he won 2-1. I'm going to guess that he didn't hand off on a 2 plus to a witch elf and then managed to score after he'd removed loads of rats. Um, you know, that's how I didn't win. So, <laughs> yep. Blood Bowl 4 by a different company. Uh, would any company want it is the question. It's it's interesting, isn't it? I'm not. I'm really not sure how it works. Anyway, looking at the teams... Elliot has a Wood Elf team. Um, <laughs> he's got mostly three players. Uh, kind of four players now, hasn't he? He's got sure hands on this guy, 51. Two dancers. He's got to move up and add up. So it's pretty, pretty nice, right? A move up and add up, two dancers. Um, but only 11 players, which makes it 
pretty tenuous. His grasp on the games is a bit tenuous. Um, very easy when to get banged out. PK83 has a babe. And he's got a move up guy and a move up strength up guy. So, like, the move up strength up is amazing. The best potato peeler there is. So, it makes me wonder if he's going to keep him, you know, back as a sweeper and pressure with everything else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, like, PK, the thing with PK is, like, he cares about protecting his wolves for the playoffs. Like at this point, it's important to know, it's important to be fair to the strategies of people involved. You have to know the state of the game, right? And when this was happening, Elliot doesn't need. Well, he needs a draw to win the league, and PK eighty three doesn't matter if it affects seeding. But you know, again, the seeding is so random. And like, you know, he doesn't know who he's gonna have to play anyway, right? So like, maybe, maybe it will matter, but maybe it won't. Like, I just think it's so hard. So he's gone too narrow here, right? Like he could have gone out on the sides with the fleshies and then he's got stand firm and it's really hard to break through, but he hasn't, he's gone in. So Elliot has two players around the back instantly. And uh, you know, it's not great. Not great for PK83. At this point though, Chavite, haven't you already lost? And Tapioca's already lost. I thought I did it in the right order. I thought I did it in the right order. I'm pretty sure Done it in the right order. Like, he could have been out with a loss if Tapioca had won, but I'm pretty sure Tapioca had already lost before this had happened. This is the thing. <laughs> Yeah, so like there was there was crazy amount of permutations before it started. But I tried to like, you know, do them in order and then update it as to what the situation actually was. Are we gonna dodge off for a foul here? That'd be really funny, wouldn't it? He doesn't. If you're not fouling him, I don't really like putting another ghoul on him because he's, he's still two plusing away here, right? Ghoul could have been here or whatever. Does the 1D, big 1D, just needed the 2? And the 2 wouldn't have been too comfortable, right, with it being wrestled. That would have made everyone else dodge through. Could have been 1 in 36. But obviously getting the 3, everyone gets through. And then not only did he get a 3, he got the power so now. The whole team will come through, including a dancer around there, not really restricted by that extra ghoul. So as I say, like if the ghoul's here or something, you'd have actually been not doing anything either, really. You'd have been doing more. But yeah, a big gaping hole there, I guess. Something should have gone there. It's hard. It's really hard to defend the attacker. Um, but he, he needed the fleshies wide at the start with if he wanted to defend it. Yeah, a draw. If you 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 had to win to beat PK eighty three, because he had the head to head over you. I don't know about his head to head with Tapioca, but even if you drawn, you can't. Uh, he had the head to head. Week one. <laughs> Week one match. I don't know about him and uh, Tapioca King. Wait, no, you had the head-to-head. -head. I got that totally back to front. Oh, wow. Okay. 
will wash my mouth out. I do apologise to Vita, so that's why you weren't pushing for the win. Because you were thinking if you get the draw. Oh yeah, no, I knew that. I said that when I was commentating the match. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's why you weren't trying for the win, because if you draw, you can hope that PK loses to Elliot. Yeah. God, I'm an idiot. I'd literally had just happened. It, li it literally had just happened and I'd said it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. No, I, I literally looked it up and said it and then forgot in the difference between the games. Unbelievably terrible. Yeah. Because, I mean, I was I was commentating the game. I don't know how much you caught, but I said, like, ooh, does he have to go for the win? And then, so I, then I checked the head-to-head -head and found out that he didn't have to go for the win, which is quite good, isn't it? Quite good not having to go for the win with Kemri that can't really go for the win. <laughs> when you've got a team that can't really try for a win, it's pretty good that you don't have to try for a win. <laughs> but you know, PK-83 could have easily drawn versus Elliot, right? So it's not, it's not great to go for the draw. Like, you'd still like to have been able to go for the win because he can very easily draw against Elliot. Like, his team is rowdy, isn't it? He's got a great wolf. Really great wolf. Rowdy team. Elliot's only got 11 players. You know, he could easily get banged out. Even though he hasn't taken anything now on PK's drive, he can just start killing players and uh, it gets very bad for Elliot very quickly in the same way as it did for Elliot versus Danton and the way it did for me versus Danton. So... Relying on an Elliot win, while normally pretty good, is not quite as good in this case. <sighs> yep. Reroll. Gets the AV break as well. Unfortunately, well, he's got to hit the. He's got to hit the. He's got to hit the f dancer, hasn't he? Three oh, deed him. But the thing is, the dancer <laughs> is going to blitz this wolf and power him. So I think he had to hit the. I think he had to hit the dancer there. I just think he had to. I really think he had to hit the dancer. And obviously three dice on him is better than two dice into a sidestepping dancer, but I just think he had to hit the dancer because the dancer is the is the player that's gonna leap and hit your wolf and then he leaped and hit his wolf and cast him and he didn't reach it. <laughs> so classic blood ball. Somebody making a you know a minor error and absolutely fucked on. A bit like a guy who got his witch elf hit once and killed. It was a very good Kemri team, wasn't it? Three block players, three block twomies, very TV efficient. But <laughs> when you've made like something like six cas in the first nine games. <laughs> That's uh, that's pretty consistently bad dice, isn't it? Oh, he's not even trying for the blitzers. Didn't even try to for the ra rackle blitz. But then I guess why would he? Like this is the thing, right? This is the thing. It doesn't matter to him. It doesn't. The result doesn't matter because at this point he's already in. So this is the thing. So if if. Chivite had one, then maybe PK goes for the 4 plus 3 plus dodges to hit the ball with Rackle because, you know, the result matters. But, so, you know, so people aren't necessarily going to make the right plays um, because they're just not trying that hard to win. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was excellent. I mean, obviously, it's hard to say it was the pretty perfect team because obviously you can just add more, right? Like it was super TV efficient, but like just having more is better, right? 
Like that's the thing. It was missing. It was missing having more. <laughs> you could, you know, if you're a 2000 TV Camry team, you're better than a six. Like you're better than this perfect six. It, the per, it, it may have been the perfect 1680 TV Camry team, but an unperfect 2K Camry team is better just because it has more shit. Do you know what I mean? So that's what it didn't have going for it, but it was it was a hell of a team, yeah. An incredible team for the TV. I might cry about the witch for years, yeah. Yeah, super witch together with Mr. Tate or High Elf, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woman Kiz, wasn't it? Great name as well, Woman Kiz. Oh, man. Not going for the one turn. Again, he doesn't have to. Maybe, if the result matters, he puts the wolf here, some of the things there, blitzes him, da -da -da -da, Bob's your uncle. But, could have tried for the block as well, right? He could have, oh no, he doesn't, he says he's only got one wolf. <laughs> I was going to say, he could have tried for the, uh, he could have tried for the punch punch and then get the other witch forward just by blocks and then he could have blitzed through but um he couldn't do that because that she got cast by the dancer Bob's your uncle have you not heard of Bob's your uncle that's a uh, a British saying isn't it Dimmy says Bob's your father's brother but I've never heard that. That might be a cockney thing. Or whatever. Huge fun. I don't know if you have him or not. You might have done, actually. People met a lot of people at the World Cups, didn't they? I mean, it was pretty cool, the World Cup. It is kind of cool, isn't it? That sort of thing. Uh, what does it mean? It's a good question. It's kind of like, there you go, I guess. I guess it means like, there you have it, or there you go. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why it's a saying. <laughs> I don't know why it's a saying. And now that you say it, it's pretty fucking stupid, isn't it? <laughs> Oh wow, here we go. One, two, three versus two. And he gets the touch back. And he's got sure hands as well, so it's very nice that he's got the sure hands because obviously Elliot has some strippers. Both of his dancers are strippers. So that's nice, isn't it? Some fun times in the Elliot household. Oof. I mean the strength for a wolf it's really easy to to get the uh to get the tree down, isn't it? And if the tree stays down then all of a sudden uh you know PK can run away from him, stick a zombie on him, and be very happy. Yeah, str strength for wolves insane. So yeah, Elio can just play off and go for the one turn or whatever, right? Just screen his three good players. <laughs> Wow, Trevita. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Too soon, man. Too soon. It's better than... Well, it's not. It's not Edge 4, is it? Like, I didn't realise... I didn't realise how good it was till it was gone. That's the worst part. Like, I had it on my team. But I just didn't realise how good it was. It was so good. Like, I think it's better than the Strength 5 High Elf. 
I genuinely think it's better than the Strength 5 High, or? Genuinely do. It's so good. Really needs to uh, put this guy on him, right? Would have done that first. This this guy over here is brilliant. This is terrible. <laughs> yeah, no. So what you needed to do here, PK eighty three, as a little bit of advices and to people watching, is this guy is shit. <laughs> it's a rookie zombie. So he's called Say Goodbye, but he says hello to the Strength 6 monster and keeps him occupied. Also, he can screen with this guy, right? So he's even making a like a formation that does something. And then your Strength 4, Stand Firm, who's like kind of annoying, goes round here or up here or basically anywhere but getting taken out by the tree. And now you've got two people on the tree as well. Wonderful. But Elliot is just not defending. <laughs> okay, well, Elliot is not defending, so it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all, but still. It, not good. Not good to stick him on there at all. Because you don't need to knock him down again. Just let him eat a fucking zombie for the whole half. But the advice still holds, even if Elliot was going to run away. Wish I'd played like this versus uh, versus sick as eggs, just quietly. Kalon sucks balls. That's brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know what I had was gone. I'm not talking crazy, honestly. Honestly, Steve, like, the Strength 5 high elf was incredible, right? But if it was Strength 4, it would be nearly as good as Strength 5. And the, uh... Like, Rackle and Leap and Frenzy is just, like, amazing. Amazing! And if that catcher had been a witch elf that was that was strength 5 with block and um, mighty blow and sidestep or tackle it would have been way better than uh, than the catcher that I had so yeah started witch elves are really really good really good it's a shame that leap is no longer really good but I think started Witch Elves are where it's at for like Blood Bowl 3 and stuff. Really good. Really good having stat Witches. But just sad that you can't take Leap on it anymore. Yeah, Witch, El Witch Elves are sick. Oh, brought back to life by the Fumble Cup winner prize. Nice. Well, you scored early? Oh. Well. <laughs> Again, uh, PK83 was already qualified. So, yeah, fantastic defense by Elliot. Forces the four turn score. Wow. See, I was different. <laughs> I mean, Woody's will struggle a bit. Yeah, they do struggle a bit. They're still like, they're still monster, right? Wee. So yeah, obviously, hope hope that uh, Squiggy's all right. But uh, yeah, I was always going to get that win from the admin win and obviously if we'd played 
and his team was just destroyed. So uh, I was confident of getting the win anyway, but then obviously the uh, he just hasn't responded for like three weeks. So. Look at that, Elliot seeks out. Elliot seeks out the matchup that PK had given him in the previous half. Hey. Yes, Kalon. I don't think you need quite quite as many low levels, but yep. Yep. Are you doing the uh, the Aero BB thing after this? This is timed pretty well, hasn't it? Just quietly. I mean, not to toot my own horn. Um, this was timed pretty amazingly well by me. Four. Four. What a professional. See you soon, Kalon. <laughs> You lovely fella. I don't know why he's... Why did PK score? I don't get it. Because, like... Just give Elliot the, the one turn, right? Give him the one turn. Don't, don't let him just beat you. <laughs> he said no one should just play for a draw. Fair enough. Fair. I would... I would... I would play for the draw. Just because it's safer, right? Just because it's safer. Because he wasn't getting hit. Because, like... He's in the playoffs. He knows he's in the playoffs at this point. Just safer to not get your players hit here. Um, and take the draw. And then Elliot still wins the league, right? The draw. So, Elliot's happy. PK's happy. Big boring gym, you know it. Yeah, 100%. 100%. But, uh... Yeah, fair enough. Like, Chunter's a bit like that, isn't he? Chunter just wants to do things, even if it's not optimal. So I guess... I guess PK's like that as well. Fair enough. Like, people are playing it for fun, aren't they? At the end of the day. As, is, as insane as that sounds. <laughs> playing Blood Bowl for fun. And, uh... Rather have the challenge of defending versus Elliot, maybe? I don't know. I wouldn't like that. I'd, I'd just take the draw. And protect my players, but, you know. Interesting blocking with that guy and not the other one. But never mind. I haven't seen the cup draw, no. Well, not everyone's confirmed, is it? So I was going to do a stream, like, you know, looking at it. I was going to do... I was going to do... I don't know if Sport is Sport going to do, but I mean, I really, we should have made a group chat and all talked about what we were going to do. I, like, I, I assumed Spork was going to reveal much of it tonight. But not all of it, right? Because it wasn't all guaranteed to be done by tonight. But if he wants to reveal them all tonight, that's fine, right? I'll, I'll, still, do a, uh, I'll still do a playoffs preview. You know, like the Chalice. Like we had for the Chalice, we'll do a playoffs preview. And uh, look at the teams. Glorious. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a playoffs preview and like look at all the teams and stuff as well. Is the draw being published? Yeah, well, the, the draws, the draws, yeah, the draw has always been published. It's just so if you want to work it out who it is, you can. But obviously, they've worked it out or not. Yeah, exactly. They can't. They can't guarantee to have all the results, right? Because... 
<laughs> well, we can work out who we can see who you're playing and see if it's finalized who they are and stuff. So that's the thing. So it will be done. Like you know, if you're interested, if you're super interested, you can see where you are and then see who you'll possibly be facing in the second round and see if their le if their leagues are finished. But as Kalon says, there's no guarantee that all of those will be finished by five minutes time. So they didn't plan on doing like a big, a proper preview kind of thing, right? Probably Friday, okay. Not sure about Friday. <laughs> and I'll tell you why, because of this stupid play-ins thing. So God knows when I'll be able to do anything because everything will have to be, everything will have to come second to bending over backwards to play at whatever time my opponents want to play because that's the only way I'll be able to play my games in this fucking stupid planes bollocks <laughs> yeah gotta clear the calendar for the next season like not even a joke is it and knowing my luck I can almost guarantee that I will win my first two and then lose because that's the most fucking painful way to lose. Because you win, you, you win your two games, so you should have fucking qualified. Because why on earth wouldn't that be the way you turn 56 into 14? You know, you make it two rounds. Of course you do. That is how you get. If you ask anybody on earth, how would you get 56 people to, to 14? You would say, oh... We'll just have like knockouts, right? But no, it's not knockouts. It's some people get a second chance. <laughs> so, yeah, well, there you go. Easy, easy uh, cage there for Elliot. He's probably going to get his win. But yeah, like this is the thing, right? If 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 Chavita had won, the draw wouldn't wouldn't have been enough. No, no, the draw would have been enough. The draw would have been enough for PK, right? PK is on fourteen. Chavita is on thirteen. So if Chavita had drawn, maybe PK would have taken the draw there, right? Like maybe this would have been a draw. Um, but then maybe not, right? Maybe Ali would have got the would have got this one turn versus the versus the two stand firms and like another player. Maybe maybe PK would have still scored, but it might have been different if if he needed the draw. But uh with him not needing the draw, then that's it. You did win the division, yes, Elliot. You are number one. He cares that much he didn't even know. <laughs> Good guy, Elliot. <laughs> you needed a draw in this game to win the division. So doesn't matter what happens on the last turn here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I didn't lose any games though, so you know I've got that going for me. I've got that going for me. I didn't lose any games. Oh my god, handing it backwards. Handing it off backwards. And this guy's so fast, he's what gonna go back one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, G. Like that's so insane. That's so insane. Yeah, but Elliot thought he'd won last season and hadn't Pedro. That was the that was the comedy of it. He'd actually not. Uh, he'd actually not. He thought he'd won the division and hadn't. <laughs> Brilliant. So oh uh, yeah, considered not scoring. Wow. Oh, I wanted the winnings. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. So there you go. So nice win for Elliot. D didn't matter to PK. That's why he scored early. The the result wasn't a matter. I wonder if he needed the draw. If he would have stalled out the half, and uh, you know left Elliot to try the one turn, uh, but he didn't. And there you go. This is the final table. Elliot 
wins by quite a few points above me actually uh, three points ahead of me you know maybe a couple of the draws I could have won definitely the King Boo game but you know I could have also lost some as well right so is what it is um, and then Danton in third and yep there was Chiviti and Tapioca missing out at the death so Danton has a bye as do Elliot and I we are one and two seeds so it could be Elliot versus Jim in the final Fwah. It could be Elliot versus Jim in the final. And then, uh, yep, there you go. Right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.